got a feeling when it stays with me. I know that you don't gotta wait for me. I'm taking it down. What's my name again? Pull up and check my block. It's good then I check the box. I get checked a lot. Check it while you check my spot. You got your shit on leave. What's up, y'all? Welcome back to another video. If you're new here, subscribe because you're already here. So as you can see by the title, actually before I even get started, um, this is not about my current boyfriend. You guys see my current my current boyfriend on my YouTube channel before. This is not about him. Okay. Okay. Also, the guy I'm talking about with no hard feelings, like that was years ago. I'm over it. I just think it's like a good story time to tell. Basically, the guy, my old boyfriend, he got two girls pregnant while we were dating yes he did so this guy I met in high school i was a freshman he was a senior red flag number one you know you're not supposed to give a fucking senior when you're a freshman and i did this guy was in my gym class we didn't really talk in that gym class like but when i first seen him i was just like damn he's fine as fuck like i i want him he, he was so fond of me like back then <laughs> but i'm like yeah i want him like all my friends like in jump class knew like and my close friends in high school like knew i like this dude like i'm like like i like him yeah like i said we didn't talk we had like a few conversations but we never like it just was nothing for real so like he graduated and i was a sophomore and that's when we finally started talking so i was a bold bitch back then i added him on facebook and he messaged me after i added him he was like i have screenshots of the messages too so i'll put them on the screen but he's like basically like do i know you which bitch i know he knew me but whatever so i played along i was like um we had jumped together last year i don't know if you know then we kept talking you can see in the text messages and he eventually asked for my number and we start talking from there now another thing i didn't mention i mean obviously he was like a lot older than me i had just turned 16 when me and him started talking and he was 19 going on 20 so he was older so like when we first started talking it was good like we vibed really good like he was um I feel like he was a good person he had a rough life and he opened up to me like about a lot of stuff in his life and like that just made me like feel i don't know feel some type of way towards him like i really liked him more because of, he was able to open up about that stuff so the whole time we talked we talked from my sophomore year all the way up until like i basically graduated from high school we talked that whole time we were on and off though most of it i don't know why we just were like sometimes he had initiated and and sometimes i would initiate it but we were just on and off but most of the time he would initiate it and i have some of those text messages he'll pop back up on facebook and give an excuse as to you know why he was gone for those months that he was he was like one time he said that he was basically about to go to jail for something he didn't do like he always had crazy excuses so yeah that's just how we were but my whole senior year we were like pretty much solid like we there was like no breaks like we would normally take breaks for like months like randomly but like we were solid my senior year but one thing i will say about this man like we um we dated almost three years but i never loved him it was definitely just an infatuation even though we were you know together three years but back oh and another thing we never um put like an official title on our relationship like if you were like one of my close friends you knew like that's who i was with but we never like put a boyfriend girlfriend title on it basically so like i said my senior year we was doing good no breaks like we was solid like i was a senior like doing senior shit and he and i was working too and he was um he was working and he also like boxed so we was busy but we still make time for each other i see him at least a few times a week and we were good for like months like my whole senior year we were good so randomly like right before prom and um graduation i didn't go to prom but like right before all that he randomly stopped talking to me like he ghosted me for real and like i was hurt but i'm like you know that's we always do that so i'm like you know we'll start talking again and I was busy with my senior year anyway, so I didn't really pay it no mind. And I, like I said, I'm like, we'll start talking again. It's just one of our breaks. So I graduate, summer goes by. 
go off to college I went to college in ohio and i went to college where i live now in pa but um, i first went to college in ohio so i was away at school for like a week and i just randomly like thought like i wonder what he's up to because i never unfollow him on any social media because i'm not so I'm not a petty bitch, so I never unfollow him on any social media, but he didn't post like on social media. I just want to go check on his Facebook. I'm like, I want to know what he's up to because I haven't talked to him in a while. Like I said, he didn't post, but I just wanted to see if I could see something on his Facebook. So, you know, being a creeper, that's what girls do, whatever. Y'all know y'all did it before. But anyways, I went on there and the first thing I seen is someone tagged him in a post congratulating him and this girl on their baby and i'm like what like excuse me my heart dropped to my ass then i scrolled down some more because i want to do some more investigating make sure this shit was true the next post is someone else congratulating him and a completely different girl on their baby um that the first post was posted in August and the second post I seen was posted in July so the babies are like a month apart and it seems like they're both his kids one's a baby girl and one's a baby boy baby girl was born in August and the baby boy was born in July it seems or somewhere around there so like I said my heart dropped to my ass the first person I called was my mom because you know when everything goes wrong you just hit up your mom so I called her basically crying like this nigga had babies on me like what the fuck then I didn't call him but I texted him like I texted him and I was like I told him what I just seen and I asked him like is this true like and he he confirmed it he said yeah and he was just so nonchalant about it he's like yeah those are my kids I'm like what the fuck my heart just broke and you're just being so like you don't care what I don't know how I forgot to mention this in a video but my heart was so broke because these girls gave birth a couple months after we broke up. So obviously he was cheating on me with these girls while we were still together. And that's just the two that got pregnant. So who knows how many other girls he was fucking with. So yeah, my heart was fucking broken. It was broken for a while, y'all. Like, like I said, I never loved this dude, but I was infatuated with him. Like it was lust. Like he was my first, you know, like, like I, I care a lot about him. And that just fucked me up for a while. So me and him, we never really like got back together. Like a little while after I found all this out, we did start talking. We talked for like a month, but I couldn't just, I just couldn't get over the fact that he had kids on me. So it wasn't the same. And then we just stopped talking like all together. And then me and my current boyfriend got together. Look, I got it. <laughs> um not too long after that we got together and like he would hit me up every so often like after that happened he would try to get with me and i would just like curve him like i have some of those messages i would just curve him like oh i'm busy right now and, you know i can't see you <laughs> feel me like i had to turn on my savage like and even after me and my boyfriend got together my current boyfriend he would um he would hit me up like every few months like trying to get back together with me trying to talk to me and i'm just like no no i'm good he did that for shit probably like three years i think the last time i heard of him was in 2018 sometime but he was like consistent with it but you know you let a good thing get away period that's your fault but yeah um that's basically it my heart was fucking crushed i'm not gonna cap like I was infatuated with this dude. It was, yeah. But I'm over it now. But I've been over him. Like I said, I don't know what he's doing in his life right now. I wish him all the best. I hope he's doing good. Because like I said, I did care about him at one point. So yeah, I hope he's doing great. I haven't heard from him in probably two years now. And that's just that. But yeah, this is a lesson to all you girls out there. Especially the ones in high school. Like, you might think you're in love with a nigga. But you're not really in love with him. Like, you know, high school was... Oh my god, I'm trying to be spiritual in this quarter. I mean, this. But yeah, you might think you're in love with somebody when you're in high school, but it's not really love. Like, it's lust. Like, my boyfriend I have now will never... He never even, like... I never questioned, like, his loyalty to me. Like, never. Like, I know he would never do some fuck-ass shit to me. Period. Like, he loyal as hell. So if I you a nigga that's loyal, 
and that's that don't take shit from these little ass boys period any girl don't matter if you're not in high school like just don't take shit from no niggas but anyway that's it for this video let me know if you guys want to hear some more story time all right i'll see you guys next video bye oh and like comment subscribe turn on your post notifications and all that shit period peace